Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we're going to do butterflies. Okay, first some information and updates. I am hoping to go to Murph. That still looks good. I don't see any problem. Um, as long as the person who's going with me doesn't back out, I'll be at Murph. So that's a Midwest rep rap forum. I never even heard of it until this year. <laughs> until I heard of Earth, and then I was like, well, uh, what's that from? And then somebody said, well, have you ever heard of Earth? And I was like, oh, okay, now I know what that is. Kind of. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of people I would really like to meet are going to be there. Um, I want to talk about a little bit about the channel, because I haven't talked about it in a while, and apparently it's something you do need to mention every now and then. Um, my objective in this channel is to earn an honest living doing what I enjoy doing. That means 3D printing stuff. Um, my life is a bit complicated. I'm not going to go into details on that. It's just airing laundry without purpose like that doesn't do any good. But um, I hold three full-time jobs. This is one of them. So um, the way I monetize this channel is with affiliate links. I don't use advertising because I'm not large enough to use advertising. It wouldn't work. If I turned on advertising right now for YouTube and um, it went optimally, I'd make like six bucks a month. <laughs> Why bother? Why stuff more ads in front of your guys' faces for six dollars a month? You know, when it starts hitting a possible twenty, thirty dollars a month, okay, maybe I'll turn it on, and at least I'll be able to take out a hundred bucks every six months. And I gotta make sure I don't touch the microphone. You should probably hear that. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of my viewers suggested I try out the Rode Lav mic, so I have that. We will see how well it works. Um, so when, um, when you guys click on those links in the description below, I get a cut from that. So you buy a, you know, a roll of filament on Amazon, you know, I get 50 cents or a dollar or something like that, depending on the roll. Anywhere between 25 cents and a buck 25. Um, you know, per item. You know, I've seen items get as little as six cents, but hey, it adds up, you know, it, it, over time. Um, you guys reward me with usage of those links, and I could eventually earn a living. Um, one thing to remember with those links, when you use them, you don't have to buy what I link to. So if I have a link down below for, you know, the TiVo Michelangelo, from GearBest, and you decide you don't want the Michelangelo, you'd rather have the Folger Tech FT5, or the i3 Mega, or the CR10, or the whatever other printer they have, you know, Make Block, whatever. If you click on my link first, and then go and buy whatever it is you want to buy, I get credit. You don't have to actually buy what I link to. The same thing applies to the Amazon links. If you shop on Amazon, and you would like to help support my channel, but don't want to do so directly, such as with Patreon. That link is down below as well. Um, that's where you provide monthly support. You know, $1, $5, $10, you know, people do that. If you want to do it indirectly, well, if you shop on Amazon, just go to one of my links first. If you go to any one of my Amazon links, doesn't matter what it is, you don't have to buy what the link goes to, and then you go and buy whatever it is you're going to buy on Amazon, I get credit, and that helps me, and that helps my channel, and that helps me survive, me and my family. So I appreciate that. I'm going to follow in the footsteps of Joel, if at all possible, and I'm going to make a living doing this. That's been my goal since day one last July, when I realized there was the possibility to do that. So, enough of that. Let's talk about butterflies. Um, we've had these things, fish fossil, you know, the little fish fossil, you know, the little articulated fish fossil. Well, um, 8 ran on 8, R-A-N, Romeo Alpha um, Neptune on Thingiverse made an articulated butterfly, and apparently he did this in Tinkercad. That's awesome, because <laughs> I love Tinkercad. So I start off with a gold one. Here is your, this is actually bigger than full size. I believe this is 124% scale. This is the largest that I can print on the Ender 2 and the TiVo Michelangelo with their 150 millimeter square beds. And there is your butterfly. The butterfly is beautiful. I love the way it drapes. It just it feels good in the hand. It looks good. It's beautiful. So I was like, I gotta print this with every piece of film that I got. <laughs> so I kind of I kind of went a little crazy. So this is with that cheap um gold silk PLA on Amazon. If I find a link for it again, I will have it down below in the description. I love this filament. Um, 
it's very cool. It's beautiful. It has that golden sheen to it. It's just a very, let me give you a little zoom in here. That's a little closer for you. Isn't that pretty? I love that. On to the expensive stuff. Oh, yeah. Protopasta's Winter Wonderland. This is turning out to be one of my favorites next to the um, Candy Apple Red, which I haven't done the butterfly yet. And I love this blue. It's beautiful. The way it shines is just incredible. It's, it's, it's truly a beautiful filament. It's got a nice, subtle sparkle to it. Again, I love the way it drapes. These things are just beautiful. Yeah. And then I did 3D Racks Purple Haze. Another beautiful color. I'm making a lot of prints out of this stuff. And this stuff is cheap, too. 18 bucks a kilogram for a specialty color. That's really cheap. But it's a translucent, deep purple. I love this stuff. Then I went to Protopasta with their Galactic Empire Purple. As you can see, it's almost black if you don't shine a light on it. Um, it sparkles when you shine a light on it, so it looks brighter, but it's almost a black. It's like a, like a, a dark night purple. That's a really pretty color. Their other new color is their Clover Metallic Green, which is really quite a stunning color. Look at that. I love the way that shines. Look right there. Yeah. The way that shines in the light. That's a beautiful color. I'm going to order another roll of this. I, I want to keep one of these on hand because I love this color. It's a very majestic color. And for a little more fun, Cupid's Crush Pink Glitter. Heather, you'll like this. I don't know if you watch my videos, but if you do, <laughs> purple butterfly. So, I ran into a problem with these butterflies, though. They take a lot of plastic, and they take a long time. They take about four, four and a half hours each to print. I tend to print slow because I like really, really high quality. So, I modified the file and decided to see if I can make it print a lot faster with a lot less filament. And I came up with this. This is... Um, Four and a half millimeters thick with the hinges fully intact. I can print this in two hours and four minutes. And it only takes 25 grams of filament. The only thing I don't like, the drape isn't quite the same. It actually actually drapes better. As you can see, it's really, really drapey. You can even roll it up because the gap between the pieces is the same. But because they're thinner, you can actually roll this up. I kind of like the limited drape of the thicker one better, uh, but this saves a lot of plastic. This was printed on the TiVo Michelangelo using the new, these are all printed on the Ender 2 and the TiVo Michelangelo, um, with the new GeckoTech um, bed surface, which sticks printing cold with no glue stick, and it has that PEI-like super glass finish, and it stuck great. Um, the trick with printing with this stuff, I'll get more into details when I review this um, bed surface, is slow, 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 hot, 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 big gap. You actually want the filament almost falling out of the nozzle and landing on the bed. If you get too close, it, um, it doesn't get time to settle into the bed and stick, and it curls itself up. It, the, fill, the tension from the filament running along actually pulls the filament off the bed. So you got to have a pretty big gap. If you, if you get them curling, it's not because you're um, too far away. It's probably because you're too close. Try widening the gap to the bed a little bit, and it works great. I just take whatever nice non-sharp printing tool I have, and I just tap it, you know, bang, bang, bang. And it pops right off. You don't have to pry at it or anything. It just pops right off. Very, very cool. And then, of course, I did one in Protopasta's Ultra Glitter. Yeah. This glitter is amazing. It really is truly stunning. It's like a sil it's a, like it's like a smoky clear filament with glitter, but it's got so much glitter, it's like a silver filled with glitter. Absolutely beautiful. So... I wanted to find out, how small could I go? So I tried to print a tiny one, and it broke getting it off. It 
works. I mean, it is there. It, the, the pieces move. It's a little bit, you know, it, it, all the joints work. But it's because, I think mostly because of the glitter. It's very brittle. So that little wingtip broke off, but it did work. And then I printed one in purple. That one came out intact. But again, um, the joints are a little too thin. What I really think I need to do to print this right, because the tolerances are there, but there's just, the, the way this works is you have a, a D-shaped on one wing, and then you have a, a flat with a hole on the other wing, and the D-shape goes through the hole, and that's how you get your live hinge. That's how he's able to print it layer by layer. So the post on the D that goes through the hole is really thin. There's not much plastic there. So I'm going to try doing this with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. Because this only took 27 minutes to print, so it'll probably take 40 or 50 with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. But that will allow me to get multiple perimeters, which should help with strength and durability of the joints. So I'm going to try that. So of course, this is Tango 3 Delta Papa. I had to supersize it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, man, that is so cool. This took 21 hours to print, and it's pretty darn heavy. This is in Zyro's Twinkling Bright Red, so it's translucent. Um, you're not going to see it on the video because I would have to back... Actually, I can backlight it for you. This might work. I don't know if this is going to work or not. There it is. You can see the hex pattern. I did the hexagon pattern, which looks really cool for the butterfly. So you can see the hex pattern through it. And it's got that beautiful bright red glitter, that, which does not show up on camera. You have to see this in person. I'm going to have this at Murph. Look at that drape. So you'll be able to see how absolutely stunning this is. I wish I had time to do one in the blue twinkling, because I think that would look stunning as well. But I don't think I have enough time to do that. Because this took 21 hours to print. This was done on the JG Aurora A5. Because the CR10 is busy printing a rocket. Oh, I love that. That is that is so freaking cool the way that flows. And you can stand it up. It'll actually stand up on its edge like that, no problem. It just sits there and looks beautiful. It looks just like that. Standing up on its edge. I love this thing. Uh, I don't I don't know why, but I love these butterflies. They just they do something for me. They're just very cool. They look nice. They're great for sampling filament because not only do they not use a whole lot of filament and print in two hours, but they're reasonably large for their filament allotment. So you can actually get a nice good surface area to where you can really see the filament. And it's just cool. It's something people can hold. It's not, you know, a static object that's, okay, it's a Marvin. I like my Marvins. I'm gonna keep printing my Marvins, but this is something that's tactile. It's got motion, it flexes, it moves, it's got joints, it, it drapes over the hand, and it's, there's just something about it. These, these, these flexible ones, these jointed prints are just really cool. I like them a lot. Um, that's it for today. I don't know when I'm going to have my next video out. It's going to be, uh, it might be a week before the next video comes out. This video is going to release Friday, so in one hour... After you watch this video, I'll be going to Murph because it starts at 3 o'clock Friday and this video is going to post at 2 o'clock Friday. Um, I might have some live streaming from the event, so keep an eye out for that. It, it won't be anything super professional or organized. It's going to be me turning on YouTube's live stream function at the Murph show. What I might do is just take a half hour at Murph to walk around and show you everything that's there live on YouTube. So that'll be there. Um, when I get home, it's going to take me a while to process the videos. And um, I will see if I can get another video recorded tonight to give you guys on Monday. If I do, it'll be just another print video. But um, I am really, really looking forward to going to Murph. Going, I'm looking forward to meeting um, Joel Telling and Ghost Triggers and Barnacles and Chep. I mean, these, these are people I have kind of idolized a little bit. You know, watching them on YouTube, they're some of my favorite people to watch. So being able to meet them, it's going to be a treat. I'm going to enjoy that. So stay tuned. Um, check down below for the links. I'll have the links to Thingiverse where you can get the articulated butterfly. Definitely print it out. It is well worth it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous print. And you can even make a pretty big one, even if you only have an Ender 2 or a Michelangelo or something like that. You can make a nice large one. 
These are beautiful, beautiful prints. Oh, to make this, the way I did this, I locked, unlocked the three dimensions, and I changed the Z height to 8 millimeters. But this was after I had expanded it to fill my bed. I believe it was 124%. Um, once I had it at 8 millimeters, I dropped it 2 millimeters into the bed, and then I told it to only print it to 4.5 millimeters. This way, the hinges are intact, and all you're getting rid of is the dead space above and below the hinges, which allows you to print in half the time using one quarter of the filament. So, very cool. That's how you do that. You guys have a great day. I hope to see some of you at Murph. I will have a whole smorgasbord of maker coins with me so if you have a maker coin bring a maker coin and we'll do a maker coin swap uh, i think i've got like 30 or 40 of them printed out maybe 50 i got a little box full of them here and uh it's pretty cool i did my maker coin it's a 3d printer it's just finishing printing a rocket <laughs> i love rockets so and i realized i can the logo the name on the back but then i came up with this here T three D P today's three D print or Tango three Delta Papa. There you go. I will see you guys at Murph. I will see you guys in the next video. You have a great day and thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it.